We're here today at the St. Louis Zoo Wild Care Park, and we're working to better understand the biodiversity that's here. So that's the plants and animals that call this home. And what we've been focusing on today is the box turtles. Find these turtles and to tag them so we can look into the secrets of their lives over the coming months. Every year we do annual health assessments of our turtles. We spread out in a line and we just walk the woods and you look for the turtles and you walk and walk and walk because they hide and they're good at hiding. There's just so much error in humans looking at it and turtle dogs, you know, their noses are better than ours. John, his dogs are trained at turtles and we've seen them find a lot of turtles. The three-toed box turtle being our state reptile is very much a, an iconic species for us. So for the last nine years, we've had the St. Louis Box Turtle Project. We did know that their populations were declining, but really we knew very little about their life histories, about their home ranges, and about the infectious diseases that are threatening them. One of those is called ronavirus. So ronavirus affects turtles, fish, and amphibians. Where it is found in box turtles, it's caused mortality rates up to about 80%. We have the capability in our lab at the zoo to do the infectious disease testing. The tags are VHF telemetry, so very high frequency. They're non-invasive. At the end of the fall, before they go down for brumation or hibernation, we'll take the tags off. We also are learning sort of their role in the ecosystem, these indicators of environmental health. We can be really good stewards of all of the turtles and the frogs and the fish on this property. Take into account the collection animals and all the visitors who are very important to us, but also all of the animals that we need to share space with. Inspire that sort of conservation in your own backyard.